What's the difference between UTP and fiber cables? In computing, there are two main types of cables used to connect devices together. Unshielded twisted pair, also referred to as UTP, and fiber optic cables. UTP cables consist of four pairs of twisted copper wires, which are arranged in a specific color-coded pattern and does not have a foil insulating layer. UTP cables use electronic signals to transmit data between devices. An RJ45 connector is attached to the UTP cable so that the cable can be inserted into the network port of a computer or a switch. Fiber cables, also known as fiber optic cables, are another type of networking cable used for transmitting data over a long distance. They are made of tiny strands of glass or plastic fibers that use light to transmit data signals. The fibers are surrounded by a protective cladding. Lasers generate the pulses of light that represent a 1 or a 0. So which one do you use? In general, UTP cables are more cost effective and easier to install than fiber optic cables. However, fiber optic cables offer faster speeds and, and greater bandwidth but can be damaged easily. UTP cables typically have a maximum bandwidth of 1 gigabit per second over short distances and up to 10 gigabits per second over distances of up to 100 meters. In contrast, fiber optic cables can support much higher bandwidths, with some types of fiber optic cables capable of transmitting data at speeds of up to 200 gigabits per second over long distances. But there are other factors to consider, like alternation. Alternation is the loss of signal strength that occurs as signal travels through a cable. This can be caused by factors such such as distance, cable quality, and interference. UTB cables typically have a maximum length of 100 meters, or 328 feet, before requiring a signal booster or a repeater, while fiber optic cables can transmit data over multiple kilometers, depending on the type of fiber cable. This makes fiber optic better suited for longer distance transmissions. Then there is eavesdropping, which refers to the interception of data being transmitted over a network by unauthorized parties. UTP cables are susceptible to eavesdropping because they emit electromagnetic interference that can be intercepted by attackers using specialized equipment. In contrast, fiber cables do not emit electromagnetic radiation, which makes them immune to eavesdropping as the flow of light would be broken if someone tried to intercept it. Crosstalk occurs when signals from other cables interfere with one another, resulting in the signal degrading like a loss or corruption of data. UTP cables are more susceptible to crosstalk than fiber cables because they use copper wires, which are more prone to interference. Fiber cables are immune to crosstalk. EMR, or electromagnetic interference, and RFR, or radio frequency interference, refer to unwanted electrical signals that can interfere with the transmission of data. UTP cables are susceptible to EMR and RFR from unwanted electrical signals from other devices like machinery and radar, although the twisting does help reduce it. Fiber cables are not affected by EMR and RFI because they use light to transmit the data. So basically, fiber optic cables are the winner when it comes to these categories. So in summary, UTP cables are best for short to medium distance connections within a building or campus, especially considering they are cheaper and easier to work with, while fiber optic cables are better suited for high speed data transmission over great distances, plus the added benefits of not being affected by things like crosstalk and EMR. This is a popular choice for the backbone of your network in a building. The choice between the two will depend on your specific needs of the network, and you may end up using both in different parts of your network. If you haven't done so already, click on that subscribe button so that you don't miss a video whenever we post a new one. And remember to follow us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. Subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long way.